Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. Today I am renovating 910 Medina Studios and this is going to be a studio apartment for a gamer and I feel like this is a little bit of like a dream gamer apartment space. I really went all out with the lighting in this apartment. It's got all sorts of fun LEDs, a really cool setup, and I just think overall this apartment has really good vibes. So I hope you will enjoy it as well. If this is your cup of tea, you might also enjoy it today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Opera GX is a special version of the Opera browser that is built specifically for gamers. It is also available on mobile, GX mobile, and it can be connected to the desktop version. And you can go ahead and download GX mobile with the QR code on the screen right now. Opera GX allows you to both chat and browse simultaneously as it has social media channels like TikTok, Discord, and Twitch integrated right into your sidebar. So you can just click respond to a quick message and get back to where you were scrolling. Also, GX Player allows you to keep your favorite streaming services all in one place, so you can log into whichever app you use, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, directly on that sidebar. And whenever you start streaming video or audio in your browser tabs, it automatically pauses and it'll automatically resume once the tab is finished. One of my favorite features of Opera GX is the customization. We're all used to the regular light or dark mode, which you can select here, but there are so many different themes, wallpapers, and colors you can use to customize your experience. Also, you can stay up to date with not only the newest releases, breaking gaming news, but free games and great deals. And it's all in one easily accessible place. You can go ahead and download Opera GX for free right now using the link in my description down below or on mobile using the QR code on screen. Thank you again to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. So I'm just trying to figure out the general layout. I knew I wanted to have the bedroom space over here, but I wasn't sure exactly how how wide I wanted that lofted space to be or where I wanted the stairs. So I just play around with the sizing here and I actually opt for uh, some like stairs made out of platforms instead and then I'm trying to figure out where to put the kitchen and living space. This is where they go. It's just I move things around a little bit and also the furniture you see me placing down was just kind of placeholder to figure out the layout I wanted to go with. So I knew one of the high school years that beds had a swatch that had this 8-bit video game character on it. So I was looking for it and I did find it. So I definitely wanted to include that up here in the bedroom space. But also I thought this was the perfect area to have the gaming or streamer set up. And we have some really cool new PCs for that that also came with high school year so I opted for this one that has this really wide screen with a camera and microphone above it and of course the light up keyboard. Also for the desk I tried to kind of make a desk similar to what I have and I know a lot of streamers and gamers have which is a really wide desk or a countertop from Ikea with uh, some Alex drawers underneath so I was going for that sort of vibe here and of course a gamer chair. Uh, so it's a table like a eight seater table that I put a couple of cabinet pieces underneath or actually they're base game side tables and I also used these really fun lights that we got with I think if you bought high school years within a certain time frame you got these um, fun leaf lights and I think they look really cool so I decided to add those here we also got this strip lighting that you can put at the top of walls and change all the colors of uh, so I went for a purple and orange color scheme in this apartment kind of playing off of the bed and so I'm going to be moving these around and layering them throughout the apartment and just really playing around with the lighting which is something I don't do that often. I also used these decals that are supposed to be more like LED lights and I love how this came out. I think it looks so cool and I'm actually really excited because I for, for the first time ever just ordered my first ever LED light. I got a sign that just says Griffey and it's going to go above my desk so I guess that this apartment kind of inspired me to upgrade my own setup. Uh, speaking of which, I would love to know if you do a lot of gaming on PC, what sort of fun stuff you have in your setup. Is there any uh, like little trinkets or decorations you keep around? I know I have a couple of little like figures on my desk as well as some squishmallows because I love them. Uh, so I'd be very curious to hear what everyone has. But as you can see, I'm playing with this lighting now and I love how the purple and orange kind of mix in the corner by this window. I just think it looks so pretty. I also really like the chair I put in the corner, which is from the pastel pop kit. And I'm just trying to move some of these things around. I was thinking the TV up above the desk could be like a giant monitor they can use. Uh, I don't know if I would ever want something like that for my setup, but 
I do think it's kind of realistic. I've seen quite a few people do it and I was going for like dream gamer apartment. So I thought it was fine. And then right here, I'm just trying to find a bookcase. I ended up going with this base game one because I thought it was nice and simple and just fit the space nicely. And then I wanted to figure out what to put above the bed and it did take me a little while. I did try a few different things, but I ended up going with these little paintings uh, from the pastel pop kit in the end. And of course, trying to figure out what plants to put in here to bring in a little bit of greenery. Uh, I didn't go too plant heavy in this apartment, but I do have a few I threw out. I just feel like they help bring a space to life. Also, I really loved adding this lava lamp that is from the Strangerville game pack. And I don't know when the last time I used the lava lamps are because they do add so much weird lighting to a room unless you adjust them. But I really wanted the fun lighting in this apartment, so I thought it was perfect. Uh, but over in the entry area here, I'm just putting a side table with a mirror above it. I used this star one, which I think is so fun. I just thought it really matched the vibes of this apartment, especially because we had a couple of those LED stars throughout. So I was just kind of mimicking that idea. And then I'm trying to figure out the kitchen space. I just go with an island and uh, with the rounded bits on the side, I changed the colors of it a bunch though. So you'll see it go from like black to brown to yellow and white and <laughs> we'll get there in the end. But I also use the same cabinet pieces to make a sort of built-in TV unit over here. And I do end up adding a couple of different consoles to the living space. Uh, the consoles we have are gaming consoles from City Living and they both function the same, but I thought it would look nice to have ones that look different. So that way it looked like this sim had a couple of different consoles. So anyway, uh, the couch here is from high school years. The chair, once again, it's the same one that I have up in the loft space is from Pastel Pop. And I love this rug I put in here. I think it's from Parenthood. I used to use the Parenthood rugs so often. And recently I realized I just haven't been using them as often. And same thing goes for the kitchen counters. They're one of my favorite sets and I feel like I don't use them as often as I used to. So I might be dabbling in playing with some more Parenthood decor sometime soon. Maybe that would be good for a limited pack build. I feel like um maybe a family apartment primarily using city living and Parenthood might be nice. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, but as you can see, I've changed the swatches in this kitchen so many times. And I think that lighting that I was putting at the top of the walls in the other space of this apartment was perfect to put under the cabinets, like under cabinet lighting. I love it so much. I don't know why I haven't thought to do that before, but I was really happy that I decided to do that in this space. And uh, I'm still unsure about the color choices. <laughs> so I'm playing around with them. I think I go with the yellow in the end because this whole apartment is bright and colorful. And I thought that that was fun. So uh, just messing around with that and also getting a fridge over there, moving around some of the lighting and, you know, messing around with it. I keep going back and forth as I was getting stuck on the kitchen. I was like, OK, fine, I'll just finish a different area of this apartment because I was really loving how the rest of it was coming out. I was just getting a little stuck on the kitchen because of the color scheme. Uh, so over here by the entryway, this little table I had put down, I decided to put a couple of these little figures. These ones are from Discover University and they are so cute. I love that there's the Bob Pancakes one. That just makes me so happy. I put uh, some keys and a phone over here. Also this really pretty vase. Uh, I just wanted it to feel cluttered, but like not messy. So that was the idea behind this. And I also decided to put this little mirror that has a little purse and stuff hanging off of it. And also one of the first things I added down in that bedroom space is that lamp that looks like a cat. I think it's from my first pet stuff. And I don't think I've ever used it before because I think it's a little bit odd, but it felt perfect. And like this was the first time that it made sense in a space for me. So I was really excited to use that. Uh, but here I am adding some books and those couple of consoles I had mentioned. So we have a purple one to match the wall. And then I got a different shaped one as well. And then just getting the artwork in the kitchen. We're finally returning to the kitchen and trying to figure out how to make this space come together because it's just, it was taking me a long time. I was very stuck, but of course I knew I wanted to add cutting boards in here. That was a very important addition. I also decided having a secondary laptop that's away from their gaming area would be nice. So I put that on the counter here in the kitchen space. And then this wall just felt really weird because this whole apartment is so tall. The wall height in here is ridiculous. So I put some extra cabinetry up there to kind of fill in the space. And then I just got a little table and chairs over here as well with some purple seating and this really pretty purple lamp. I'm going to be adjusting the lighting throughout because uh, some of the lights I just wanted to be a little bit dimmer. So it's brighter over here in the kitchen space and then a little bit darker over by the 
bedroom, but I had so much fun playing with the lighting, which is just not something I do that often. So I will probably be doing more of that because this is a blast. Uh, so yeah, just adding a couple more decorations here in the kitchen. I got a fruit bowl and a little plant on the table here. Of course, getting more plants in the corner. Uh, this apartment is a needs TLC apartment and I didn't keep everything accessible. I just wanted to have fun decorating it. So I apologize in advance if that is bothersome, but some of it I did keep accessible. So like this bathroom, I tried to make sure that you could still get to the pipes and you could still get to the electricity box. Uh, so we just have a standing shower, a sink and a toilet in here and some fun colored rugs and bathrobes. Uh, but it's a fairly simple bathroom and that's pretty much it for this build. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the screenshots and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.